Okay. Okay. So, who made this? Who made this? It's breaking. Mm. Hey guys, it's Rose, and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipe video. Today, you guys, I wanna make some vegan California rolls, okay? So this is gonna be a very interesting video because I wanna show you a couple different ways of making California rolls, and I also want to try out this very interesting contraption. I think this is called a sushi bazooka. I wanna try this out, I wanna see how this works. I bought it on Amazon, I was like, oh my God, I need to try this out for the camera. So. We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna also try to make it without using this. And it's gonna be a fun little video. We're gonna cook together. We're gonna make California rolls together. It's gonna be a great time. So let's just, let's just get started. First, I wanna make the sort of insides, right? So a California roll, if you guys don't know, normally uses imitation crab, and then you mix things with like mayo and stuff. So we're gonna make it vegan today, and it's actually very, very easy. I actually have this recipe in my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook, so I'm giving this away for free, okay? It's one of my favorite recipes. I used to make it all the time, so I'm very excited to show you guys how to make it. If you wanna check out my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook or all of my other ebooks, I'll leave some links down below. So you can check out all of the eBooks that I have to offer you. So we're gonna do the tofu method. So the tofu method is what you can see in my Everyday Asian Recipes eBook. So the first method is going to be using extra firm tofu, okay? This is the method that I have in my Everyday Asian Recipes eBook. I love this recipe, it is delicious. So what we do is we take some extra firm tofu. I'm just going to cut it. I think we only need about a quarter for this amount. And what we do is we grate it. So we need a little cheese grater situation. We just grate it, okay? I, I think I'm gonna use this part. What we do is we grate it so that we're having these little shreds. Okay, we have shreds, if you can see here. So grate, 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 shreds. And then we just grate the whole thing to create that shreddy consistency. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So this is why you need to use extra firm tofu because I feel like if you use anything else, it'll kind of like just break. I mean, to be honest, you could just crumble it, but I think this texture definitely um, makes a difference. So yeah, texture is very important, guys, in food. Texture is very, very important in food. So we are just grating it. This is really, really easy. It shouldn't take too long at all. As you can see, it's just kind of crumbling off at the end here. So I'm just gonna grate. Don't, don't cut your fingers. Okay, here we go. There you go, guys. So there is our like crab meat situation, okay? So now we just add this into a mixing bowl. Okay. Now that we have our shredded tofu, we're gonna add in some vegan mayo. So we're gonna just throw that in, okay? And we're also gonna need some salt. You can also use like garlic powder, garlic salt. I'm keeping it relatively simple today. And then we just mix it, okay? And you would be surprised at how yummy this is, okay? My mom actually makes this a lot, and a lot of people are like, oh my God, I can't believe it's tofu. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, I usually like to add in garlic powder, also some sriracha if you want like a spicy crab mayo situation. But really, we're keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna give us a taste, see what it's like. Mm, seriously. Just that alone is delicious. So we have that, and that's our like, Crab meat, okay? Do we want to add a little sriracha? You know what, let's keep it simple. That's our crab meat. <laughs> simple. Now, I also want to try making a different type of crab meat, okay? This time, I want to try using hearts of palm, my favorite thing ever. This is hearts of palm, which I don't know, you know, like I don't really know how to describe it, but it comes in these little tubey things, and it's super, like, soft and tender, and the inside really reminds me of like crab meat, okay? It really reminds me of crab. And I think I'm not the only one because a lot of vegan recipes that call for crab use hearts of palm. So I, like my favorite is the inside. I just like eat it. Mm-hmm, oh my God, it's so good. So I thought it would be really fun to make California rolls using hearts of palm. And I'm gonna compare the two see what is better, if there is one that's better, or if they're di both delicious. Maybe we'll start with this. Oh God, honestly, it's so good, you guys. 
Mm. Mm-hmm. It's like kind of pickly. I don't know how to describe this flavor. It really reminds me of like crab meat, slightly pickly, uh, slightly tangy, very, very tender. So what I want to do is I'm just going to like, um, should I shred it as well? No. Mm. Let's, let's just give it a go. We're testing things out, guys. Mm. Nah, won't work. Maybe what I want to do is I kind of want to just shred it with my, there we go. I think this is what I want to do. First, I'm going to shred it like this with my fingers just kind of like lengthwise, it should be very easy to like shred, especially the inside. As you can see, the inside has a very different consistency. The only thing is hard to palm, like where I live, it's quite expensive, okay? I don't know if it's cheaper where you guys live, okay? I remember when I was in Brazil, um, hard to palm was like everywhere, and I was like, oh my God, I wanna live here. I think they called it like palmitos, I can't remember. <laughs> if you're Brazilian, let me know. But yeah, it was like everywhere when I was in Brazil, but here it's like harder to find. So yeah, we have, we have the hearts of palm. Once it's a little bit hard to shred, maybe I'll just kind of cut it lengthwise. The outside is a little bit tougher. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to like, I don't know, like just cut it, I guess. Very finely dice it. Okay, okay. I feel like this is gonna be good. I feel like you can't go wrong with hearts of palm, you know? So we got the hearts of palm and now we're gonna mix it together with mayo. Okay, so now that we have our hearts of palm shredded, I'm gonna add it into a mixing bowl and we're gonna kind of just follow the same method. I think hearts of palm is a little bit more salty already because it's like, I don't know, it's like in pickle juice or whatever it is in. So I'm probably not gonna add as much salt, but I'm gonna add the same amount of mayo, vegan mayo that is, and then maybe just like a little pinch of salt and let's see how this goes. I'm excited. Now, obviously the advantage of the tofu is that it is high in protein so it's gonna be a lot more filling than hearts of palm which is relatively low in calories but if you are soy free or something or if you just like hearts of palm you can try this let me try the inside let me try this let me try this okay mm. i mean it's delicious i don't know if it's crabby but it's delicious one thing you could do you can mix both but we're gonna keep it separate today now guys, let's prepare our rice. Yes, we're making California rolls. So I have here sushi rice, short grain rice. You have to use sushi rice or short grain rice. That is the sticky rice, okay? We're looking for Korean, Japanese, short grain sushi rice, okay? If you use anything else, it is not going to stick together, okay? So we have short grain rice, it's already cooked. It's cooled down a bit. It's kind of at room temperature, slightly warm still, but that's okay. So now what we're gonna do is Take a mixing bowl, okay? And then we are going to add our rice, okay? Got our rice. So you want it to be slightly warmer, I feel like, because that way it's easier to work with, but that's okay. We're gonna add in some rice vinegar. Mm-hmm. And then just a little bit of salt and sugar. I don't like my sushi rice to be super sweet, but it's up to you if you want it to be a little bit sweeter. And, and then we just mix it, okay? Just simply mix it. I should have mixed this when it was a little bit warmer, I think, but that's okay. All right, we got sushi rice. Sushi rice. Now, I kind of want to try using the bazooka method, okay? So we have the bazooka. It's called a sushi bazooka. I don't really know how to use it. I've never used it, but I'm going to try making the roll with the sushi bazooka. Oh my God. Okay, let me, let me, let me uh, situate myself. Okay guys, so I watched a couple videos on how to do this. Pray for me, okay? So basically the whole point of the sushi bazooka is for people that do not know how to make sushi rolls. And um, it's supposed to help you make sushi rolls uh, in an easy way, okay? I don't know if this is gonna work. I've seen mixed reviews, if you will. So I think the initial thing, what we wanna do is we want to grease the inside. I bought this on Amazon, by the way. I will link it down below. I don't know if you'll wanna buy it. We'll see, we'll see, okay? I'll give you my review. So what you wanna do is, I think you wanna grease the inside. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely not like, you know, sushi chefs are crying right now. Okay, they're crying. Although in Japan, do they even have rolls? I feel like rolls are a very westernized thing. Anyway, either way, so we're gonna grease the inside so that it doesn't stick. I'm gonna be relatively generous with the greasing so that I lessen my chance of failure, but Knowing me, probably not gonna work. That's my that's my assumption. My assumption is it's gonna be a lot more difficult than, than I think. Okay, so there's that. And now, 
if, if my memory serves me correctly, oh, first I'm going to wet my hands a little bit with a little bit of water and that's gonna prevent the sushi rice from sticking to your hands because sushi rice is sticky. And then, <laughs> oh my God, this is so weird. Okay, so we're gonna like, this is strange. So I pack it down. Now I did not really read the instructions that well. Like I just watched a couple of videos. So, you know, yellow. Okay, I feel like that's enough. Yeah, we have we definitely have enough rice. I was worried I won't have enough rice. I don't know how much to, um, <laughs> I don't know how much to put. Okay, hold on. Okay, now I think I'm supposed to like press this down. Oh my God. To create like a hole. Ah. Okay. Honestly, this is probably harder than actually making, like learning how to make sushi. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, okay? Cause like working with these, this contraption is, in my opinion, probably gonna be more difficult. But who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind at the end. Okay, press down. Ah. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe not. Great. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Do I wanna, okay, let's try. I feel like the tofu is gonna be easier. So we'll try with the tofu. We're filling the insides now. Am I doing this right? I have no idea. I'm afraid to fill it too much. Like, am I? Okay. Okay, filling the inside. We're doing the tofu one. And then I'm gonna put on the other side, we're gonna put some avocado. Okay, by the way, this avocado cost me like $2.50. <sighs> what is going on with the, with the world right now, guys? Everything is so expensive. Honestly, I was like, should I just not add avocado? But like, you kind of have to add avocado in a California roll, I feel like. Okay, so California roll um, sushi bazooka edition, vegan style. So then now we wanna like put this together like this. And then I saw, <laughs> and then we close it. What the, what the mother? Oh. Okay, so who made this? Who made this? It's breaking. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, great. Now, all right guys, so now I'm gonna, this is not easy, okay? I feel like, again, it's, okay, so we're gonna, so you have to like put this to, yeah, together, and I feel like it's gonna fall on me. <laughs> Did I? And then you lock it, okay. I feel like I didn't add enough rice. That's my assumption, but let's find out. So now what we do is we take out. Ah. 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 My hands are greasy. Take out a piece of nori. Okay. Um, rough side up. So this one's gonna be a seaweed on the outside roll because that's what the sushi bazooka is letting me do. Um, Okay, guys, it's a moment of truth. Does the sushi bazooka work? Wait. Okay, I think I have to okay, twist it. Oh my God. Oh. Ah! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It kind of worked, kind of worked. Wait a second. I think I can save it. I can save it. Ah! Okay, so. <laughs> Um, okay, let's let's not give up just yet. So then what you want to do <laughs> is then you wrap it. Okay, you wrap it. I mean, no, this is not easier, you guys. Like, if you can put the sushi in the sushi bazooka and somehow make it pretty, you can make a pretty sushi. Like, I feel like if you have talent enough, so what you want to do is after you roll it, I mean, it doesn't make it easier after the fact, but doing the whole sushi bazooka thing, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to roll it now. I kind of want to know what it looks like on the inside. So I think I'm just going to like do that. And then what you want to do is get like a damp knife that's sharp. Like I probably should wait a bit longer, but I'm impatient. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's, it's okay. So that's the end. The end is never going to be the prettiest part. Ah. It looks interesting. I don't know. What do you guys say? Did I do a good job? Um, other than this part, but you know what? It's, it's not half bad. But again, I don't think it's any easier than making 
the sushi yourself, right? Like, or maybe I'm just really bad at the sushi bazooka. I think maybe once I master it, it'll be better. But I mean, it looks kind of pretty. It looks kind of uniform. All the, you know, this part's a little bit, you know. Okay, was that a success, a failure? This part is kind of a failure, but it's all right. Cheers. So that's how you use the, that's how you make the, the, the sushi using the bazooka. I don't know how I feel about this because I feel like, again, maybe if, you, if you've never made sushi and you're like afraid, but again, if you can use this contraption, then you probably can make sushi. Like if you can use this contraption, you can put the sushi on the seaweed. Um, but it does kind of make quite nice, like uniform shapes maybe. Who knows? Maybe I did it wrong. You guys are gonna be like, Rose, you didn't even use it properly. So, but that's the sushi bazooka California rolls. Should we try one? Yeah. Um, I don't have soy sauce, but let's try it. Cheers, this is the tofu one. Mm. Delicious. Mm-mm, okay, now let's make more. All right guys, so that was the sushi bazooka. Let me know based on what I just made, would you wanna buy it or would you not? Because I'm still a bit torn, okay? Now let's make the California roll uh, seaweed on the inside, meaning the rice on the outside. This one's a little bit more tricky and I still don't know if I can do this well. It really depends on the batch. So we're learning together, okay? And I haven't made this in a very long time, so chances are it's not gonna be pretty. So what you need is a nori sheet, but for the seaweed on the outside, you wanna cut it in half, okay? You don't need the full nori sheet, so you can use either scissors, just hold it, or rip it. I literally just have one nori sheet left, you guys, so if I screw this up, that's what you're gonna get, okay? It's not my fault. Well, it is my fault, but uh, that's what you're gonna get. So we're gonna start with a piece of Saran wrap, piece of plastic wrap, cling wrap, whatever you want to call this. Okay, we want to lay it down. And then we want to lay down our, <laughs> guys, I really actually don't remember if I, like how to do this exactly, but I think I can figure it out. So we want to lay down, um, again, rough side up. Yes, I think. Okay, and then we have some more sushi rice. And again, a little bowl of uh, water. So what you wanna do with this one is you wanna add half the amount of rice that you would add for the seaweed on the outside roll. So I don't know if I wanna fill the whole thing, I can't remember. So we just want to like basically spread the sushi rice with damp hands, like so. Kind of press it down, but it doesn't have to be super like pressed down, but like, you know, just apply a bit of pressure. <laughs> I really shouldn't be teaching how to do this, okay? I am not a sushi chef, so please don't come after me. But we are going to Try, you know, might as well try. And it's, you know what, like it's easier than you might think, I think. Although I shouldn't say that now. It's too early to say that. I think I wanna fill the whole space. I'm trying to think, do I need to leave a space? Mm. Enough rice to just kind of cover the nori. I just, <laughs> Okay, now we wanna add some sesame seeds on the rice, okay? I'm just gonna like, oh, I think I have some here. Yes. <laughs> Sesame seeds on the rice, okay? You can be as generous as you want. It's up to you. I think my hands are a bit damp, but yeah. Just like spread it on, put this, and kind of like press it down, make sure it's staying. Okay, now the moment of truth. Now what we do is we turn this baby around. So again, without the cling wrap, you wanna just grab, carefully grab it, and then turn it around. I think that's how we do it. And then if you want, you can use one of these sushi roll things, which I think I'm gonna use because I am nervous. So now, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing, if I can do this guys, anyone can do it, like literally. So, ooh, I forgot to add. I need to cut more avocado. So we're gonna cut a little bit more avocado. Just a few slices, you know what I'm saying? Avocado, here we go, okay. So we got, we got some avocado. So now I'm gonna try with the hearts of palm mixture. So we're gonna just, you know, add the hearts of palm mixture. Looks really good though, look at that. Mmm, mmm. Hearts of palm, crab meat, yum. And then we can add our avocado. Now you don't wanna overfill it because, you know, it's probably not gonna, just don't wanna overfill it. I'm, I'm the queen of overfilling everything, so. Okay, now the moment of truth. Now I'm gonna bring this a little bit in. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna like close it up 
So grab the inside. Oh my God, can I do this? Maybe I overfilled it. <laughs> okay. And then just kind of roll it up and pray for the best. Hope for the best. Okay, okay, okay. Now you don't wanna press it too, too hard because then all your insides are gonna, okay? But you wanna press it hard enough that it's gonna like stick together. I mean, so far it might break, but looks okay so far. I think this would be easier, doing this would be easier with the tofu crab meat because it's a little bit more sticky, I find, okay? So now we just remove ooh, the wrap. Okay, so, so far I think it's, I, it looks okay. Now again, damp, uh, dampen your knife a little bit, and then let's hope, very carefully cut it. You need a sharp knife. Okay, this part, the ends are always gonna be a mess, okay? That's the rule, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. It's a little harder because, again, I think it's the hearts of palm, okay? No! <laughs> the hearts of palm is a little bit more difficult, okay? I feel like if, it, if this was, I'll show you the, the, the tofu version because I feel like it's easier to cut without screwing it up. Okay, okay, mm, okay, okay. So it might break. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay guys, so um, hearts of palm, a little bit harder to make the California rolls. I wanna try it, but I think I'll make both the uh, tofu version and this version, and then we're gonna compare the two, okay? So we have one somewhat pretty one, but they're both kind of, they're all kind of ugly. Not the best. Let's hope I can make the tofu version better. Okay, tofu version. <laughs> all right, you guys. So now we're gonna make the seaweed on the outside, California roll with the tofu filling. Again, we wanna have that rough part on the inside, okay? Um, and then again, we wanna dampen our hands just a little bit and add in our sushi rice, okay? This one's get, gotten a little bit, a little bit hardened, okay? And I really hope I can do this, I can do this well. I'm trying to think, do I want to leave a little space? Hmm, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've made one of these babies. I hope I make it well. <laughs> I hope it's pretty, I hope it's pretty. Um, I think I wanna make the the uh, avocado a little bit thicker perhaps so that it shows up a little bit more but then I don't know if that's going to overflow it there's a lot of things going on in my mind right now and I also still don't really know the logistics do I want to leave that space a little open maybe 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 I'll do that I don't know if that'll you know what no I'm going to close it I think you're supposed to fill it we'll find out I used to make these for like potlucks and stuff because People really like these. These are actually really good. Like, I know you guys are probably like, you just did tofu and vegan mayo and salt. And I'm telling you guys, that's all you need. Like, it's so good. But again, if you want to, you can add garlic powder, you can add sriracha. Okay, so now we have our lovely rice laid down. Okay, now we put, again, oh, we have this. Put again, some sesame seeds, sprinkle that on. Maybe a little bit more, okay. Can be generous up to you I'm just gonna press that down okay and then again I want to take that nori carefully and carefully just plop it down okay there we go now let's use the tofu wait actually do I want to use hmm let's start with our avocado now I'm gonna cut it a little bit thicker than before I think okay avocado now our tofu crab meat, okay? Imitation crab meat. I think I made this, oh my God, no, I did make this the other day, not the other day, months ago. I used that like vegan crab meat thing. It was like a product. I didn't really like that product that much, um, but I did make one of these California rolls and I'm pretty sure I didn't make it very pretty, <laughs> but whatever, um, okay. Here we go, here we go. God, just see how my memory is so bad? Anyways, okay, so I'm just gonna like press it down and I feel like it's gonna be easier because tofu, as you can see, it's already kind of like sticking together, okay? I mean, let's hope it's easier. Okay, so now, let me just brace myself, okay? Let me just get myself ready, oh, okay. 
Okay, are we ready? Okay, now, again, we want to roll over and I may have, again, overfilled it. Okay, so I'm gonna press it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Why do I always overfill this? <laughs> Did I overfill it? I don't know. It always looks good before you cut it. I mean, you could just eat it like this, straight, you know? I may have overfilled it again. So maybe, maybe don't fill it too much. Or maybe, I don't know, I don't know the rules, okay? So anyways, now we have that. And now, we're going to simply get rid of the saran wrap. Again, it looks promising. And now, we take the knife, now I'm nervous, very carefully, slowly, coat it up. Okay, okay, see, this is better, okay? This is much easier to cut, because it kind of stays together, even if, like, I think the bottom is a little bit, you know, exposed, but because the tofu is naturally sticking together, it's a lot easier to to cut. Oh, this one's a little broken, but that's okay. Okay, I mean, it's not the prettiest, okay? But, you know, I've seen uglier at some sushi restaurants, so. Okay, now look at this. Okay, it's, you know, it's cute. It's cute. I'm down for this. It's very cute. Okay, yeah, definitely in terms of like ease of cutting and presentation, the tofu method is much better. Now we need to taste test both. All right, you guys, time to try, okay? This one is the tofu, much prettier, okay? Pretty proud of the, the you know, the appearance. Not the best, but you know, looks good enough. And then we have the bazooka version. Uh-huh, bazooka. I already ate a few, so. And then we have the hearts of palm version. I'm actually kind of excited to try out the hearts of palm. So I think the first thing we'll do is try out the hearts of palm California roll. Let's see if I can... Hearts of palm? Hearts of palm. Uh-huh. Can't see the avocado, but it's in there. It's hidden in there. So I'm just going to dip it in a little soy sauce. And let's try it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious, absolutely delicious. I wouldn't say it tastes like a California roll though, from what I, what I remember. The texture is definitely a little bit more on the crunchier side rather than like a tender and soft side. But I definitely would make, I would use hearts of palm for sushi again because it adds a lot of flavor and it's just delicious. So definitely would use it again. Maybe though for a California roll, let's try our beloved tofu one. Let's try, maybe this one, no. This one with the big avocado. Mm -hmm. So this one is the tofu. And I mean, I know how good it's gonna already taste. So let's give it a go. Mm. <laughs> no competition guys. Definitely the tofu. Obviously, if you don't like tofu or if you have a soy situation, then maybe make the hearts of palm. But if you don't mind tofu and you like it, definitely, definitely the tofu is better in every aspect. It's easier to make. It is more realistically like a California roll, in my opinion. From my experience, it's cheaper. Uh, I don't know where you live and I don't know how, how much tofu is where you are. But from my experience, it is cheaper uh, to buy tofu rather than hearts of palm. And um, yeah, so definitely recommend tofu. That is the winner here, okay? And the bazooka, I'm still not sure. I mean, I didn't make this version without the bazooka, but I think I can make it probably fine without the bazooka. But we love we love a seaweed on the outside roll, you know? We love a seed, seaweed on the outside roll. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Okay. Oh. Anyway, guys, I hope this inspired you to make some California rolls. If you do make them, okay, comment down below. 
let me know how it turned out. I'm gonna have a blog post with the recipes written in a blog post. That'll be linked down below. Give me a five star review if you try it and if you love it, okay? Definitely check out my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook or all of my other ebooks. If you don't know, I have a brand new ebook that I released. It's called No More Cabbage Soup. It is full of weight loss friendly, delicious vegan recipes. There's over 100 recipes in that ebook. It is so good, so definitely check that out. You can also buy my ebooks in a bundle, which saves you money. So you can get all my ebooks for a cheaper price or all my recipe ebooks for a cheaper price. All that info will be down below if you guys want to check out my ebooks. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this whole sushi making experience with me. If you guys want more sushi videos, let me know because I know vegan sushi can be very hard to find depending on where you are, okay? If you are lucky enough to live in a city with delicious vegan sushi available to you, then well, I mean, you're very lucky. Definitely let me know if you guys want more vegan sushi ideas and recipes. Check out the blog post and of course give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.